So today I'm going to talk about crashed drives and how to recover data from a drive that has crashed but um, still might have some uh, partition and data on the partitions and data on the drive itself. There's a number of different ways a drive can crash, a hard drive can crash, um, but in some cases um, having a drive crash may still yield uh, actually partitions and, and valid data on the drive um, that you can recover yourself. And uh, in this video, I uh, hope to try to make that um, process a little bit easier for you to understand. So here I have a drive that actually used to be in my TiVo. It's a two-year-old Seagate Barracuda 2000 uh, gigabyte drive or two terabyte drive that uh, seems to for some reason have uh, given up. And um, the drive itself now in Windows appears like it isn't formatted. However, when you plug in the drive and you fire it up, it spins up normally. Um, you know, it doesn't have the click of death or anything like that. And it appears to run pretty normally. Um, and uh, as you will see in a minute, when we run test disk, which is a freely available data recovery tool, we'll see that there are still valid partitions on this drive and we can actually copy the data off to another drive. So here is how to do that. Uh, first of all, we're never ever going to click format when this uh, error uh, or this notification prompts up especially if we plug in a drive that we know uh, may still have valid partitions or data on it. I'm going to click on cancel here to be on the safe side. Um, and then I am going to locate my um, software um, that I already have, uh, my test disk software that I already have uh, downloaded to my computer here. Um, this is freely available on the internet, um, but uh, yeah, like I said, um, you, you may want to get a flash disk version of this. You may want to get a live CD version of this. They're all freely available. Um, so I'm going to just run test disk and it will go from there. So when you run test disk, it's going to ask you if you want to run it under administrator or with administrative privileges. I'm going to say yes. Um, and uh, then, the, you know, this is basically the UI of the software. It's, it's like, you know, DOS driven or DOS prompt driven software with a, with a vel relatively rudimentary UI. And uh, that can actually lead to some confusion, but hopefully at the end of this video you'll uh, have the basic idea of going through it. So initially it asks you if you want to create a log file, which is no, because I don't need a log file. I kind of already know what I'm doing here. And then it's going to want to ask you to select the disk that has the problem. In this case I have a few disks in my computer and it's actually leading to some confusion because I've got another 2 terabyte disk in here. But I know, uh, because I've actually run this a couple of times before, um, that this is the disk that I want. Um, typically you may want to just put the disk that's broken into a computer and then run the computer off of a live CD so that you don't have this issue of multiple disks but uh, this is how I've chosen to do it so here we go. I'm going to go click on proceed then I'm going to go ahead and specify the partition format that's most likely uh, in use for this disk since it was inside a PC before I'm going to choose Intel PC partition and I'm going to analyze that partition and basically tell the program to go see if it can recover any data off of this drive. And basically what this will do is it will go ahead and see if it can um, find valid data and valid partitions on the drive. And then it will give you the option of trying to recreate that partition table if necessary, uh, thereby fixing the drive possibly, um, uh, you know, if it's, if it's not physically damaged or allowing to recover the data by copying it off to another drive um, if the drive in fact is damaged. Um, so let's go ahead and run this analyze and see what it gets me. I'm going to go ahead and click on go and then it's going to ask us if we want to do a deep search or a quick search. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and click on uh, uh, enter here which is a default option for quick search and that will reveal to us what um, the software can find in the drive. Before long, um, the software has found that there's actually four valid HPFS or NTFS partitions on this drive, all of which do contain data, and I can actually see the data by hitting the P key on my keyboard to list those files. So I look at what's uh, on partition one here, and I can see, yep, there are in fact a bunch of files, uh, Tales from the Crypt here, that's some video files from my DVR, so this is, this is a disk that used to be in my DVR before. So um, here are the partitions and I can actually select them one at a time by uh, hitting colon or all of them by hitting the A key and I can copy them off to another disk by um, you know, uh, uh, pressing the C key one at a time or uh, shift C to copy them all. And then I just select the uh, location of my destination where I want to copy them to and so I can go.
I'm going to just pick up, where, pick up where I left off in the last video. Essentially, um, we have run the quick search on our drive to see if there's any files that can be recovered and partitions that can be recovered from the drive itself. We notice that there are in fact four valid partitions on this failed drive um, and there is a valid data on each of those uh, partitions. We have uh, used the P key to view the data on that partition, then hit the A key to select all of the data on that partition, all of the files. And now we're just about to copy them off to uh, another drive or another location. Uh, to do this, I'm going to hit C um, to copy the current file, the current selected file or highlighted file, or Shift C to copy all the files. And then I get to a dialog where I can specify the location where I want to copy these to. And I can see by default I'm already in the directory uh, and on the drive that I ran test this from, which is a different drive. And I, uh, you know, I want to make sure I have enough space here to recover all the data from the failed drive. And I can go ahead and use the directory up, uh, um, the two dots directory up directive to go and find a folder where I want to store this. Um, and then once I've located that folder, um, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and go into the setups directory here. Once I've uh, so found that directory, I'm just going to hit Shift C, um, and it's going to start copying um, the data I want. So uh, now you can see it's actually copying that data um, off to my other drive. And uh, when this finishes in a few hours, I'll have successfully recovered that data. Um, so that is really all there is to it. I'm not going to actually go through with this now, but I'm going to just interrupt it. But that is really how you can uh, very quickly recover data, data off of a failed drive. Uh, now, I'm going to go back through this again and show you the option if we had a situation where we wanted to fix the drive that was there. Uh, sometimes drives can get a corrupted partition table by, you know, um, having too many uh, non-safe removals of that drive. There's a number of things that can cause a corrupted partition table basically. Um, and uh, if you can fix it then um, great. If you can't fix it um, then you know you're gonna have to recover the data just the way I showed you. Um, but if you can fix the recovery uh, the partition table this is how to do it. So I'm gonna go back into test disk here and um, do all the different things that I did the first time. I'm gonna choose not to create a log file. Uh, select my disk here, Intel partitions, and analyze and quick search. And um, once I've gone through this and verified that on each of the partitions there is in fact data by using the P and then uh, Q to get back, um, then I am pretty much ready to go and uh, say, all right, I'm, I feel confident that this is the actual partition, partition and file structure of my drive. I think I am good to go uh, to, to, to write this data back to the drive um, and basically fix the broken uh, partition table that's on this drive. So to do this, I can hit enter to continue and then I can either do a deeper search, let's say for example I had additional partitions on this drive that I knew were there before that aren't listed now, um, well then I can do a deeper search that will take uh, some hours depending on how big your drive is. Or, if I feel confident, I can write this exact partition table, how it's been discovered by the quick search, back to the disk. Uh, to do this, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, select write using my left and right arrow keys. And then hit write, and it's going to ask me, are you sure you want to do this? And I'm going to say yes. Um, and, and if you get a write arrow, like I did here, most likely the scenario is that you have some physical problem with the disk that has corrupted your uh, partition table in the first place. And that's the case with my disk, so I won't be able to fix it. But the nice thing is I can go in here and I can analyze and I can actually see the data that's here for each of these partitions. And I can manually recover the data by, you know, uh, selecting it and copying it off to another drive. So it's actually very convenient. It means that I haven't lost all the data on this drive. Um, it's just that I had to go out, spend some money, buy a new drive, and then copy all this data to it and partition it just like how the old drive was. So that's a little bit of work, but um, you know, depending on how long it took to accumulate that data, it, it, it may be well worth it. So that's all I have for you today. Is, uh, this is kind of a crash course in recovering data using test disk, which is a